Hey everyone, this is Daniel and in today's video I'm going to cover the key announcements that was made today on the opening day of Microsoft Ignite 2023 and I'll go through all the Copilot features, the updates on the Power Platform and even cover some for the Microsoft 365 services. And I'll give you a hint, there's Copilot here, Copilot there, there's Copilot everywhere. So stick around, it's very important. But first, here's my intro video. So today, which is November 15th of 2023, was the first day of Microsoft Ignite and it was a hybrid, which means you could be there in Seattle, Washington, America, or you could watch that digitally from your house. I did it digitally. And since I live on the East Coast, uh, the actual keynote started at 12 noon. And right in the beginning, he says that there are 100 plus updates, which means announcements in this event. So that really caught my interest. And besides just the cloud services, there were other interesting things. So they actually talked about two hardware, almost like a processor type device focus, focusing specifically on GPUs. Uh, Azure Cobalt was one of them. And the, this was the other one, the Azure May, I think I pronounced that correctly, but this was the key other ones, focusing again on Microsoft Azure. Uh, this is not directly available right now, will come out in private preview, but more of this information to come later. But I just thought I'd call that out that there was some hardware piece involved and these were the two of them. Uh, but there's so much more to talk about. There was updates on the Azure Open AI services because we are aware of ChatGPT, but there are different versions of these ChatGPTs that are gonna come out in preview. So those announcements were also made. Pretty interesting. And then there are these little nuggets that just kept getting passed around. So I captured those as well for your interest. Uh, models as a service, which is gonna be out in preview soon. That was announced over here, ready to use APIs, integrated with leading learning language management tools, LLMs, pretty neat features and functionalities available. But what really caught my attention and the audience with the big wow factor was the announcement of Copilot for Microsoft 365 and that uses the combination of natural languages across all of these other services over here. So let's actually spend a few minutes talking about all of this because this was very interesting to me. I actually even attended some breakout sessions and I want to bring that to your attention. So Copilot is there in our everyday Microsoft experiences. If you have a Microsoft shop, then we use Copilot everywhere. Now they want to actually deeply integrate that into all of these other features and functionalities. Uh, but, but in addition to that, there is a full Copilot stack. So inside the boundaries of safety and security, there is different stacks of Copilot available. But what also caught my interest was when Satya Nadella actually talked about Copilot Studio. It was so important that even he mentioned that in the keynote because now not only do you leverage the out of the box Copilot that is provided in all these other platforms, but you can build your own Copilot very specific to a custom need and they are providing that studio for it. So the interesting thing about the Copilot studio that is allowed is already going to be generally available. So you actually might even start to see it in your tenant and I'm not sure you're talking about that in a minute where you go see it. But, but what caught my attention was when I started to see these videos and images uh, that this co-pilot and the actual example that they were talking about, he said, hey, this looks and feels a lot like Power Virtual Agents. And that was the big announcement that it is actually goodbye to Power Virtual Agents and it's hello Microsoft 365 Copilot Studio because the overall functionality is the exact same. You don't lose any of your existing work, any of your existing PVA chatbots, topics, they're all there, but now it is going to be much bigger than just building chatbots. You have the full flexibility to take your existing topics and most importantly, your existing skill set as well, because you've just expanded your skill set uh, into now building Copilot. So let's take a look at a few things. Uh, Copilot and conversational AI in general for the entire M365, including the studio, is now across this entire spectrum because it's just not tied to the Power Platform. It now is called as the Microsoft Copilot Studio. And, and more of this will be released in the future uh, because this is all these announcements made that they ignite. Uh, but I just wanted to call that out is that the Copilots and the conversational AI covers this entire spectrum across the entire Microsoft 365. Same thing goes for the Copilot Studio as well. There is a full extension to the Microsoft 365 side and it covers all of these key features right up from the top, which is world-class user experience 
to the important one, which is security and governance. So there was actually a breakout session that I also attended of how they were able to build your own custom co-pilot. And to this day, that just blows my mind because every knowledge that you and I have to build chatbots now directly gets leveraged to build custom co-pilots as well. So you are able to go to the same Power Virtual Agents, its name has changed into Copilot Studio, but over there you can apply the exact same knowledge to build your custom Copilot. And when they were talking about this kind of life cycle process, it immediately reminded me of Power Virtual Agents because if you've seen the Power Virtual Agents chatbot in a day, we've kind of seen similar slides like these, but they were very Power Virtual Agents centric. This now expands towards the entire Copilot because keep in mind, Copilot is a SaaS service and it has got a single pane of glass, which means you can directly build it, deploy it, go production, and then go through this entire cycle of improving it as well. And you can go ahead and extend and customize your Microsoft Copilot to put across all of these distant services or channels that you have available. Teams being a big one of them, so you can actually extend your Copilot for Microsoft 365. Teams directly has the plugin directly built into it and that is already currently in public preview, which means you can go and start playing and testing with it. So I just said plugin. Well, what can be a plugin? You can go ahead and use all your conversational AI plugins that you actually build in the Power Virtual Agents PVA, which now is Copilot Studio. You can go and add those conversational plugins directly inside Teams and any of these other services uh, that you want to leverage, which you've already built in, including using functionality such as the support for custom prompts, basically using Power Automate to pick up those subtle prompts that you may have, and you can go and customize it. This also, by the way, this additional feature is currently in public preview. Now, one other thing that they sneaked in was the concept of co-pilot for a service. I'm still not 100% sure what it is, but I like the fact that they're going to go and provide the Microsoft Copilot for a service, which means it is going to be definitely a SKU by itself, uh, but you can go and start leveraging it for as a service itself, um, and more information on that is to come soon. So I have all of these links which were actually shared at the event. I've put that in my description below. You can go ahead and review them at any time. By the way, the slide deck also, I'll make that available to you. More information about that is available in my description below. Now I wanna switch gears and actually look at some of these other services as well. So the first thing that I wanted to look at was the Power Platform Admin Center. Basically all the advancements that was made from the governance standpoint from Power Platform. And the big announcements that was made was for the manage environments for Power Platform. Uh, you have the ability now to do your environment routing plus add groups to them plus add rules to them. So you can start provisioning for dev environments into admin specified groups, or admin specific groups and apply environment level rules uh, to automatically take effect upon creation of these environments. There were also these big announcements that was made for advisor in managed environments for Power Platform. Neat things was the insights. Right in between you see the insights. That caught my attention. Uh, if you want to have any information about environment level where you want to see, hey, if there are six apps and no owner, hey, I need an insight. I need to know that. Or how many unused apps are there? Or is there any high touch apps that have unhealthy application lifecycle management? Um, are there any apps that are shared to a high number of users? These level of insights, which granted we were able to get that using center of excellence and then tweaking the data a little bit, but now it's gonna be there outside the box. And there will also be actionable items as well. So if you have some person who's built an item and that person has left, uh, yes, you could go ahead and change the primary owner using the PowerShell command, but you can go ahead and do these actionable items directly uh, through the managed environments, assigning new owners, quarantining or deleting apps, add an app to a solution. That was big because yes, we can do on solutions, but adding an app to a solution took a little bit of work before. Now it's going to be directly actionable by you. And then removing everyone's sharing. I know enterprise level, heavily regulated people, um, they are going to love this feature. So this one definitely caught my attention as well. Other neat thing which caught my attention, which yes, this still falls outside the managed environments, which is the Power Platform Admin Center. But what it does is now Copilot will automatically generate notes for your app. So when you go ahead and actually are using Pipeline to go ahead and deploy your apps, it will automatically put in deployment notes. Copilot does that for you. Next, it gives you admin insight level into deployment solution with a zero effort. And then very soon coming is Copilot will generate solution version notes for you. So if you see on the bottom right over there, the deployment notes, if you haven't put in any notes, 
Copilot will automatically generate for you based on the information that you've already provided, such as what is the pipeline name, what is the version, things like that. But it automatically does that, saving you some time to go and do that manually. And similar to the deployment notes, the app descriptions will also be automatically put in by Copilot so that you don't have any app empty app descriptions. It's very important that you put in some app description to even tell you what was the original intent of that app. Uh, and you might have forgotten to do that. Well, Copilot and Power Apps will automatically do that for you. Now let's take a look at Power Automate. And the first thing it talked about, they talked, and the first thing that they talked about was the evolution of Copilot in Power Automate. So it was already there in the cloud flows. We saw that. But the big announcement that caught my interest was the leverage of Copilot directly inside desktop flows as well. And yes, there is also the preview now. And yes, there is also the new preview of orchestration, which falls under the Power Automate. But me personally, the desktop flows really caught my interest on that. Because now you can use the Copilot's assistance when you're building desktop flows. So if you see this image of a desktop flow on the right side, you now have Copilot looks very similar to how it is on the cloud flows. And neat thing is that inside your actual desktop flows, your copilot can be used to actually generate even the expressions. So for example, when you're using an action which is under the scripting actions, if you wanna go ahead and actually build a scripting type of a PowerShell, copilot can help you do that. And you just type in using natural language, an example saying, hey, I just wanna generate a script that will perform a post request to this website and will pass the anything which has error details. You just write it that much in natural language and Copilot will automatically go ahead and put in that code directly inside your desktop Power Automate flow. That to me is pretty awesome. And another place Copilot is going to be leveraged is to analyze the automation of the activities. This part of the activity is directly on the cloud side. So there are still a few more on the power apps that I want to show you that there is some advanced governance in the scale. There is Copilot in the mainstream, reliable modern apps everywhere. Uh, Copilot, as we know, is already there for the makers. And they also shared some very interesting stacks. Uh, what I like about the fact that now this is going to be generally available, which means that's all, which means you can actually start using Copilot when you're building your production Canvas apps. Another thing which is going to be on limited preview is Copilot for users as default in Canvas apps, which means that it will be available for all Canvas apps that are Dataverse backed apps, which means it has to be made Dataverse centric. And over there, you can actually go and ask questions specifically about Dataverse data. Uh, and then no maker effort needs to be done whatsoever. It will automatically go and just start working. This, they might announce that it is going to be limited preview, which means it's not even private preview yet or preview it is only in limited preview. So exactly the ETA for this is currently unknown. But there were some neat announcements about the improvement in the overall performance as well. So when you go and actually start entering text with Copilot text input assistance, uh, it actually speeds up and improves the overall text inputs entered in the app. Uh, no extra effort is, re is required on that. And this actually is previews gonna come out in the next month. You also have the flexibility to give user insights beyond the app data and also add up to four URL resources for generative type of answers. Now again, this also is in the limited preview, but it was a really neat feature that they announced, which I wanted to bring to your attention. Again, we do not know when is the exact estimated time of an arrival for this one. Now, one of the plus points of Copilot in Canvas app, specifically in the Power Apps Canvas app, is that you've got the flexibility to build a full custom Copilot using the Microsoft Copilot Studio. So if you look at this image over here, on the top right, there is an option to edit in Copilot. So yes, you are going ahead and referencing Copilot specifically for this data or studio. But if you go and want it such that the data is presented in a certain way or only so much of the data is presented specifically for that situation, you basically go and click on that edit in Copilot Studio. It takes you directly into the Copilot, which remember is the old PVA. You tweak your Copilot over there and the moment you save it and publish it, it starts to leverage directly inside in your Canvas app. So this functionality is only currently available or going to be available in the Canvas app. It is currently in preview. Other neat features that are coming out is the ability for a one click to run a prompt. So on this image, if you see on the top, that is actually a new control that is available to makers uh, using, allowing the users to actually run with predefined prompts, again, all using natural language. And this will all work with multiple controls that can be added for a single screen for multiple prompts. Another pre this preview is gonna be available in December of this year. 
And one more thing that really caught my attention is that modern controls and theming is finally going to go GA. You've seen me and a bunch of others do a whole bunch of videos on this. And the one thing I kept telling you is that definitely play with it. Don't go production because it's not GA yet. Finally at Ignite, they made that announcement that the modern controls and the theming is going to go GA. And in this excitement, there was also announcements made about truly native mobile, which will make it go faster and have more reliable apps on the mobile apps. So right over here on the screen, you can actually see that how increasing this productivity really improves the performance as well. So on the left side, what happened in the past where there was three bar codes, which was scanned, it used to take 13.2 seconds. But because of this improvement and also the overall efficiency and the look and feel in this modern reliable apps, that bar score code scanning app has now increased to 4.9 seconds. Uh, there's smoother animation and direct integration with devices for more reliable performance. And this is already in preview right now. So I covered a lot about the power platform. What I do want to switch gears is talk a little bit outside the Microsoft 365 services that caught my attention. And I've, like I mentioned this before, these were also the Azure Open AI services. Uh, we are familiar with ChatGPT, that name ChatGPT shows up everywhere. But now these are the different iterations of ChatGPT that are going to be available and already are in preview. Big one being the ChatGPT Turbo, Turbo 4, Big one being the ChatGPT 4 Turbo, 4 Turbo with Vision, and right up to the fine tuning section as well. I've put that link in the description below for your reading purposes. There was also announcement that was made about Fabric, the announcement about the Fabric Copilot, which will be going GA soon. And another thing that is coming soon is mirroring in Microsoft Fabric, which basically seamlessly connects your data warehouses and databases to one lake. In the previews and in all the testing, I saw that this had to be manually done, but now this will seamlessly connect that. And it involves all of these other features and functionalities right from Azure Cosmos DB all the way up to the MongoDB. For more information, go ahead and check out the aka.ms forward slash fabric. And there's no way I cannot talk about Teams because Teams is also everywhere. It was interesting that Satya Nadella actually had to talk about the surface of the next generation AI to make Teams a little smarter. He mentioned that directly inside the keynote. But what caught my attention was the general availability of Mesh in Microsoft Teams, which means now you really have the integration of Copilot with 3D space. So you can read more about that at themesh.com, but here's some other interesting things that you can create your own environments that will be available and friendly for the mesh type of meetings that you might have because now it's no longer just a 2D effect of a meeting, but you'll have a 3D effect where people will actually be in a 3D location, a mesh, and over there you can have these meetings. And for that purpose, you can actually go and start creating all of these templates ahead of time. So these announcements that was made on day one of Ignite really caught my attention. And I know there was so much about the Copilot, but I also wanted to talk about the Copilot Studio and all of these other announcements that was made across the other Microsoft 365 services, some of the Azure services, and also about the Power Platform. Hopefully this video was useful to you. Hopefully it got you excited about this new technology that is coming up and you'll be able to start testing with all of those previews and really get you excited. And if you're interested in this slide deck, I've got more information about that in the description below. Go check it out. Hello, hello, hello. So if you like this video, go ahead and click on that subscribe button and smash that like button. Also, if you have a few extra seconds, can you go ahead and put in a comment, either say something nice or give me ideas for my next video. And until then, see ya.